Put your shovels down. It's still just a rumor at this point. It's not time to panic yet, but the rumor is because like every single AK-47 has this T marking right here, which is a mark where the auto sear goes, which is dimpling, and they've already made several things illegal just because of the marking, like for example, the Troy Industries XM-177 E2 line, because they had a fake auto sear pin, just, it was just etched into the receiver so it looked like an auto sear. They said that is a machine gun, all those Troy rifles are now machine guns and must be destroyed. Back to the auto key card. Just an etch designed on a piece of metal. Well, that's a machine gun. Needs to be destroyed. So the rumor is, AKs with this little marking right here, which like every AK I've ever seen has it, will be classified as machine guns and need to be destroyed. And it's not one of those cases where it's like, hurry up and buy it while you still can because they're gonna be banned. That's not how they do bans anymore. Yes, what was it, the late 80s or early 90s, they banned open bolt. And if you're not familiar with what an open bolt is, so typically your round goes in the chamber, the bolt is closed around it, when you pull the trigger, a hammer comes up, hits the firing pin, sets off the cartridge. An open bolt, the round sits inside the magazine. When you pull the trigger, the bolt comes forward, strips it off, and fires. The firing pin's fixed. The firing pin doesn't move in or out. It's always out in a fixed position, and it fires. And they decided that even though those open bolts were converted to semi-auto, they were easily convertible to machine guns, therefore they're banned. But any before the point where they said they were banned, are still okay, it's just nothing can be manufactured after this point. Lately, that's not how the ATF works. Take bump stocks, for example. Those should have been grandfathered in. When they banned those, it should have been like anything past this point is now illegal. If you have one before, you know, come get a serial number from us. We'll give you a tax stamp or whatever. We'll make an exception. No, the ATF views it. If you have a machine gun made after 1986, that is illegal. Because I don't think any of these AKs, well, there's probably a couple out there, but the majority of them were made after 1986. Not to mention, even if it was made prior to 1986, I don't know if it's possible to have them open up the registry and add your rifle in. Again, that's why it's so important the auto key card guy wins his case. If he can get a judge to agree, no. Just because it looks like something that's dangerous or just because it looks like something does not make it something. I can't buy fake cocaine and be charged with cocaine. I can now with their new ruling, but their philosophy is if I have fake cocaine because it looks so much like real cocaine, that is in fact real cocaine and I get charged for real cocaine. This mark right here is not an auto sear hole. However, it looks like one. Therefore, that is an auto sear hole. Therefore, this is a machine gun. We need the auto key card guy to win his case. We need a judge to be like, no, you can't just say because something looks like something, therefore it is. That would, that would put the brakes on all of this. Then those Troys would no longer be machine guns. These would no longer be machine guns. I mean, they're not yet. We're not we're not panicking yet, but that's what rumor has it, that these won't be machine guns. But anyway, I just want to tip you guys off. I apologize for more bad news, but uh, if you own an AK, it might be a good time to also go and buy a shovel. Or if you have a lot of money, go and buy a boat. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like the support the channel. Got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Even if you don't buy what the link is for, just clicking on that link and then doing the Amazon shopping you're going to do anyway. I a little kickback for it because you came there off my channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Why do you got to be such a heartless little brat? If I am such a brat, then why don't you spank me right now, daddy? And show me what a bad girl I have been in. Teach me a lesson. Okay, I might have been overreacting a little bit, Lacey. I love you. I am never going to trade you in. I love you too. It's not the action I wanted, but it's the action I can get.